Hi, my name is Melanie Ho and I'm a consultant from Professional Vantage and today I am going to show you within Microsoft Dynamics GP 2013 some of the new features in the Payables Management Module. In GP 2013 we can change the Remote to Address ID on a posted Payables invoice using the Edit Transaction Information window. We would select the creditor, click on the lookup to select the invoice that you want to change and in the remote to address ID click on the lookup and select an ad the correct address ID and hit save. The next time you pay this invoice the address called remit to will be used on the check remittance. Please note that you cannot change the remit to address ID if the document is partially applied. The next feature is the ability to reprint check remittance from posted payment. To do this, you would go to the inquiry section, click on the transaction by vendor, select a vendor, highlight a payment, then click on the document number drill down. You will see a recreate check stub button. If you click on that, you can now choose to print to the screen or to a printer. Depending on how your system has been configured, it will either print the report writer format or the word template format. When you click on OK, it will only print the report to screen or to the printer, but it will not regenerate the emails to the vendor. If you want to email this to the vendor, click the send to button and then the mail recipient PDF. The following feature allows us to create check prepayments for purchase orders and to do this we need to go to the transaction section and follow the same steps when creating a check payment run. Select checks, create a batch and you need to tick this purchasing prepayment batch tick box. Then you would click the Edit Check Batch button and this will display the list of creditors and the purchase orders ready for prepayment. Now complete the process as you would for a normal payment run batch. The last feature that I'm going to show you is when both a credit note and a payment is fully applied to the same invoice. The payment is then voided Will automatically unapply that credit note. So I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to go to the inquiry section and I go to transaction by vendor and I'm going to select one of the suppliers and you'll see there is an invoice that's partially allocated to a credit note as well as a payment. I now decide I am going to void this payment. I go to the transaction section and I'm going to select Avoid historical transaction. Tick the tick box. I now go back to my transaction by vendor inquiry screen. Click the redisplay button. My payment is voided. My credit note is automatically unapplied. I can now go and reapply the credit note to the invoice. That was some of many new features in GP2013. If you would like to learn more about what GP2013 has to offer, please head to our website for more information and videos. Thank you.